How's it going everyone? My name is Joe and today you guys are going to learn how to use a PlayStation 3 controller with almost any Mac device. To get this working you're going to need three things. You're going to need your PlayStation 3 controller, your USB connector to the PlayStation 3 controller, and your Mac device with Bluetooth. Once we have these things we're going to go ahead and open up Bluetooth in the settings menu. Once we're there, we're going to go ahead and turn Bluetooth on and make devices discoverable. Now go ahead and plug your mini USB into your controller, and then plug the other end into your computer. Now we're going to go ahead and hold down the PlayStation button for three seconds. So one, two, three, unplug the connection and then release the button. All right, it should now say your controller is connected to your computer, but don't stop there. There's two more steps we need to take. We're going to go down and click the little drop down menu next to the cog and hit add to favorites. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go to the drop down menu again and hit update services. After you've done this, your controller should now be connected to your computer and anytime you want to use it, just go ahead and hit the PlayStation button and it should turn on as long as you have Bluetooth on. Now that you have your controller connected to your computer, you're probably asking yourself, what can I play now? Most games offer some kind of controller support, so I strongly recommend you just go out and explore the games you have installed on your computer. My favorite thing to do, however, is go to Steam and launch Big Picture Mode. Once here, it'll show you what games offer controller support and allow you to browse through the web, go through your Steam library, and shop around if you want to. As you can see, Team Fortress 2 works great. Anytime I do play on my Mac, I always use my controller. Other software like emulators work great. Here we have Nintendo 64 emulator 64 is playing Super Smash Brothers. But if you're having any kind of problems in terms of getting your controller actually working, most games do automatically register the controller and automatically set up controls. But in some cases, you're going to have to go and just turn on your controller from the settings menu. And with any game that doesn't offer controller support, all you have to do is go into the key bindings and set your controller up for a keystroke. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys had any problems throughout this video, let me know down below. I'll try to get to as many comments as I can, try to help you out because I know this can be frustrating if it's not working. If you guys have a Windows PC, click on this little box right here. It'll take you to a tutorial on how to use a PlayStation 3 controller with Windows. But other than that, thanks for watching. My name is Joe. If you guys like this video, give me a like. If you want to subscribe. Other than that, see you guys later.